Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biomed at Prachi. Today I am going to tell you the ideal steps of endoscope cleaning and maintenance which is also called as reprocessing of endoscope. So friends, endoscope is a medical instrument or device which goes inside the body cavities, takes pictures and videos and display on the computer screen. Doctors can see lively if is there any problem at inner cavities of body. In my one of the earlier video, I have described different types of endoscope and procedures performed by them. So guys, before moving ahead, subscribe to my channel Biomedat Prachi so that we will be connected for every informative video. Also, please like, share more and more and do not forget to hit the bell icon. So, this is flexible endoscope. Scope is supposed to handle in this way. This is ideal way to hold endoscope. Scope is made up of very thin plastic rubber that is medical grade rubber, very delicate and small small channel cavities and very very flexible strings and wires are encompassed inside the scopes so that it can move flexibly. For such a delicate piece of engineering it is very important to keep it clean and maintain its flexibility. For cleaning and maintenance of flexible endoscopes, there are steps. One by one, we will see them. So, the steps are pre-cleaning, second is test for leaks, third is soak and clean, fourth is rinse, fifth is disinfect, sixth is rinse, seventh is flush with alcohol and dry, eighth is storage. Every endoscope manufacturer provides their own standard guidelines and training for their products. So today we will see standard process for all of them. So first step is pre-cleaning. Immediately after procedure, wipe the endoscope with an approved enzymatic solution and also flush out the channels with a solution to lubricate and loosen debris. After that, wash the air, suction and water channels. Altering air and cleaning solution will remove more debris from internal lumen. Second step is test for leaks. Leak test is very important step in case of maintenance of flexible endoscopes. Immerse the scope in water, attach the leak tester at terminal end that is or as per instructions by manufacturer and then pressurize endoscope. Angulate distal tip and observe for bubbles which could indicate a leak has occurred. At the end of 2 minutes, remove air by leaving the leak tester attached for 30 seconds. And very important, if you found any leak or air bubbles uh, during leak test, you have to contact to your service provider or uh, to the manufacturer. Okay, the next step is soak and clean. You should ask your manufacturer for proper enzymatic solution for soaking and cleaning. Using the proper type of and amount of enzymatic solution, soak the endoscope and fill the endoscope channels for prescribed time. While soaking, brush out the channels and valve ports, all valves, attachments and interior of scope. Once soaked enough, again flush out the channels, that is all, air, water, suction and clean behind the device's elevator. One important note is, water nozzle is the only area that you cannot brush and continuous stream of cleaning solution should be observed that indicates channel is all clean and no more debris inside the channel and second note is valves should be inspected and cleaned rubber o-rings on valve should not be torn or missing okay fourth step is rinse rinse endoscope flush all ports well with clean water Dry endoscope by forcing air through all ports, then dry exterior with soft cloth. Removing most water as possible will prevent dilution of disinfectant, which is we are going to use in next step that is fifth is high level disinfection. Flexible endoscopes comes under semi-critical devices. Many of them are temperature sensitive. So rather than steam sterilization, chemical germicide must be used for disinfection process. For that, you have to choose glutaraldehyde solution that does not contain a surfactant, preferably a 2.6% alkaline. Immerse the coiled endoscope into a tub filled with glutaraldehyde. By attaching irrigation adapter, inject glutaraldehyde through all pores Make sure that disinfectant is existing all ports. 
keep like that for 20 minutes in a 2.6 percent glutaraldehyde solution at room temperature all endoscope accessories as are necessary to disinfect in same way just make sure that no sharp things should puncture the endoscope then sixth step is after 20 minutes flush the endoscope and surface with copious amount of water and the seventh step is flush with alcohol and dry in this step endoscope must be flush with alcohol that is 70 percent isopropyl alcohol use of alcohol encourages evaporation of remaining water inside the endoscope on channel surfaces second thing is uh, if possible attach forced air to irrigation adapter for 20 to 30 minutes and hang endoscope after removing irrigation adapter make sure exterior of the endoscope is dry apply a small amount of silicone oil to o-rings on valves then eighth step is storage your endoscope should be stored in a hanging position and never in a storage case choose a well ventilated area in your hospital away from excessive traffic all these eight steps are necessary for good life of flexible endoscopes as well as safety of clinical procedures proper endoscope maintenance will improve patient safety and save money by lengthening the life of the equipment so thank you so much for watching till the end we will meet soon for next topic till that keep learning do your best bye bye